Hello YouTube and welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can take advantage of uh, torque and force calculations in magnetostatic simulations. Uh, why do we need to study uh, force and torque in magnetostatic? Well, the magnetostatic is like a uh, faster way. Um, of course, you can do the same uh, sort of uh, simulations in um, transient simulations but uh, in transient simulations you are looking at the force at every second of the time while in the magnetostatic you are looking at uh, the force that is generated by the peak um, amplitude of uh, the excitation current or voltage what does this mean it means that we are looking at RMS values not every uh, uh, value at a time. So for many of the uh, purposes you do want to look at the RMS values and it should be an important thing for you to actually uh, monitor. That's why uh, using the magnetostatic is going to be a good choice for a simple calculations of torque or forces uh, that is caused by a magnetic force. Um, in this example, as you can see in this uh, picture, um, I'm going to have a ring of a current that generates a magnetic, uh, basically, uh, field, um, an upside magnetic field, and I'm going to have a, a piece of permanent magnet uh, with some certain S and N directions, like magnetization directions. Uh, in this case, I'm going to make it to be towards the X direction. And uh, when we energize the coil, we are creating a magnetic field that at the end of the day will rotate uh, our uh, permanent magnet towards the Z directions, which is the direction of the magnetic field. And we are going to see, uh, excuse me, it will, uh, it will turn it toward, toward, the, uh, toward the Y directions. And uh, we will have a torque um, uh, along the Z uh, axis. So let's see if we can calculate that and how we should start. First, I'm going to start with a 3D uh, simulation. Uh, I'm adding the 3D simulations. I'm going to go to the Maxwell 3D and make sure that my solution type is a state that's magnetostatic. And then I'm going to create my first, uh, let's say, um, uh, coil uh, that the current is going to go through. Uh, I'm going to pick um, YZ axis and and then I'm going to uh, move uh, uh, our canvas in a way that I can basically uh, go look through the x-axis and uh, I'm gonna now uh, create a polygon uh, that is gonna be the cross-section of our current okay and uh, let's say that the polygon stays somewhere around here and uh, and then the number of turns of 12 seems now we can create that uh, one thing that I noticed is if you want to have a field um, if you want to have a rotation um, towards uh, like the torque of the Z what you need to have is you basically want to have a field that is generated uh, along the, uh, the Y axis that means that our um, beautiful ring has to um, be around Y axis and therefore I'm gonna uh, basically uh, push this thing up a bit um, you can always uh, uh, change uh, your mistakes by just just pushing it up okay now that I push it up and uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create um, uh, basically a ring out of it by sweeping it around Y axis so I'm gonna go from the edit menu here and uh, select sweep sweep around axis and select Y axis with 360 degrees of rotations um, the number of segments I want to have like a, a, a limited number of segments and the reason is because uh, this will uh, ease on uh, meshing so if you want to make it a better uh, and more accurate meshing you want to have number of segments instead of a true curve okay perfect now uh, I'm gonna create uh, uh, basically a, a, a box here in the middle that uh, is gonna have it's gonna be in x direction 
and uh, and I'm going to make it to be magnetic. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to um, x y sorry x and z there x and z and over there I'm going to go and uh, uh, create my own box a uh, very simple box that I'm going to create um, in fact I should have like uh, creating it this side so let's just uh, bring our box uh, sorry I have to basically create it in again YZ and uh, I'm gonna go and create a very very simple box um, nothing fancy and uh, just slightly I wanna uh, push that and uh, call it uh, the permanent magnet um, the permanent magnet has to be uh, a magnetic field uh, has to be in the like the cadmium and or and and, uh, and I'm gonna go with the at NDFE 35 um, one thing that you want to do is before you, before you assign uh, you can actually assign a material but one thing you can do is you can also um, uh, go to the material uh, one more time and uh, go to the view and edit the material and make sure that the material is already on the X component uh, by material I mean the magnetization and uh, when you have zero for the Y component and Z component that means that we only have S and N along the X axis that's what I want and in this case uh, we have negative one, uh, 89 um, 890,000 uh, ampere meter for the for the vector magnitude which is which is uh, which is good enough for uh, for the for the magnet that we have okay uh, I'm gonna now uh, move this thing slightly um, um, so basically I'm gonna select that and uh, move it uh, slightly in, in the center and also uh, I also want to uh, use uh, uh, my uh, my basically moving object and uh, and move it slightly higher so I'm gonna select that and bring it over here so we stay in the middle somewhere like in the middle uh, okay so I think the next move that I did was not only the Z uh, axis but also uh, so let me just make sure that I am doing right I wanna just move it in the Y axis not uh, X axis so if I have an X component for my move, I'm gonna go press it to be zero, which basically make it be a staying in the middle um, as I want it. And also I can uh, rotate it slightly a bit uh, to just make sure that this fellow is going to uh, rotate towards the, the direction that we want. Um, so what you can do is you can create your own uh, offset. So you can learn a lot of things if you follow um, my tutorials I'm trying to uh, show you how to use all different tools that we have here so um, again one of these tools is basically which is a very powerful tool is uh, offset so what you can do here is you can change the offset um, of the uh, coordinate system as you can see I put it right in the middle of this device now if I say uh, rotate while I select the coordinate system to be on a relative um, relative coordinate system. Now, if I say I want to rotate this fellow, uh, I want to rotate it. You will see that the rotation is going to be uh, exactly around its axis, which is very important for me. Uh, I'm gonna do like uh, uh, perhaps like on 18 18 degrees of rotation, something like that, and uh, that should uh, suffice. Uh, our need for uh, this and also uh, we can leave this uh, coordinate system to be here uh, for our uh, basically uh, torque calculations so